honestly, this house is perfect. Perfect for us. Do you guys remember what it used to be like to do show prep? It used to be me and the girls. And I was mostly responsible for all of that because they were little. So just now I've been editing. I had two videos to edit. And then I come out here and what do you think I see? Wow, <laughs> look at you. That's all right, I can show you how to button. Are you putting on some pounds, Stormy Boy? Um, did you cut his tail? No. Uh, hey, get out of here, get. Does it look small? Does it look short? Yeah. Uh-oh. I was gonna cut it, and then I was like, eh, that's too short. Yeah, why is it short? I know Storm would not let goats eat his tail. Head up. So, Head was up. Elizabeth out here with you? No. Oh, there's Chino out there. I don't think I told you guys in the last video, but I talked to the vet today and... Storm, can you push He's distracted by the dogs. Ruby and Molly. And so he reminded me that he explained to me that this is going to be a long haul. It's not a, just a short fix. I don't know why I got excited thinking like the antibiotics, <laughs> six weeks of antibiotics are going to make a difference. But he said now, because he's kind of having a relapse, he has an abscess. That's all he has. He just has an abscess. And an abscess is awful for him. He doesn't like want to eat when he has an abscess. He doesn't want to walk. He's just, it's just awful. And so, and I need him to eat because if he doesn't eat, that's what sets the whole Lyme thing going again. So anyways, I have to go on Monday and pick up more drugs and we're going to do another six week course. And he told me some new stuff. We're going to try to support his health to support his immune system. So we're going to be starting some echinacea, echinacea. So anyway, it was a good talk. He reassured me that this is normal. And I know from reading other people's stories that this is normal. It takes so many tries to get them healthy again. If you sleeping? It is 6.19. I've been doing this for an hour. <laughs> yeah, and I've been editing. My back is sore today. Wow. I'm bored with this. I know, it's boring. See, he's sleeping even. And bathing him after. You're gonna bathe them? Yeah, but I, I gotta. To hold them. Yeah, and I need someone I to help me. I got everything ready because I didn't want him to break out of the cross ties again. Cause. Yeah, good. See, I you're learning. He was only difficult that one day. Cause he had a bad day that day. Yeah, and then he went on to ride and had a good day. These little baby hairs sticking up is what is growing. Yeah. So, anyways, we're gonna get ready here. I'm gonna bring you along for show prep. I'm already ready. I started without you. I'm glad you started without me. I'm not doing great. I stuff. love that sweater on Sophie, and I love your makeup today. Yeah, it looks great. No, I love it. It looks so so but good. I got new stuff, so. Yeah, we went shopping today, and um, I need help bathing Gracie. Gabby's gonna braid her. Thank God for Gabby. Okay, Gabby's working with this. the math tutor today. All right, what do I do? All right, it's super easy. Where are the other horses? Back in the field. I wonder if he knows. I wonder if he's thinking like, oh, this means we're going to a show. He's a cute with long mane. Too bad his mane doesn't grow. So the other day I was telling you guys that I'm pretty sure I hurt Storm's feelings because we went to this new place and he had this like such upset look in his face. I was talking and then he just got really close to my face and looked me in the eyeball and was like, looked at me with this shocked, awful expression. Like he was so upset. And he wasn't acting bad or anything. He just was so upset. And I couldn't figure out what it was. And I thought maybe he didn't like what I was saying about him. But now I'm thinking that he was trying to decide, like trying to figure out from me if we were leaving him there. Because we've left him at two barns. And I think he was like, oh my God, is this happening again? And then that just destroys me. Like, I promise I'll tell you if we're leaving you somewhere. We're not going to leave you anywhere. We are staying with us now. We're done with that. Okay, you and your girls. And we're going to get Chino good so that he can be with his girls too. I missed it. Willow was standing there and all the goats were sleeping at her feet. It was the most adorable thing I've ever seen. But I brought more hay. Oh my gosh, he's eating it. So he has an abscess right now. He's trying to blow an abscess right now. But these boots are really helping to get him walking. <laughs> Do you guys want hay too? 
I think the animals are trying to tell me that the grass is almost gone, almost done, because Storm lost a little bit of weight, so we had to add to his food. <laughs> Ellie just shows up. She just drops in. She just, she was so funny. Here I come to throw hay for Chino and Honey and Willow. Here. The little goats come and ask me for hay, so I think I'm just going to start throwing more hay for them during the day. Well, it's like you're not leaving me. I know. Gosh, she's so cute. We're be scared of the goats. The door's open. Oh. Yep, that's not good. I think we have to start feeding them, supplementing with hay. I think the grass is done. All right, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to bath her in here. Gracie! Oh, she's right here. Come on! Come on, Gracie! Come on! Honey's coming. She's not gonna come, just go. No, she's gonna come. Come on, Gracie. Oh, there's Penny down there. Yeah, I think we're gonna have to start feeding hay. It sucks, but I mean, it is September. Actually, the girls are all still really chubby, but Storm's like that kind of horse that never overeats to begin with. Get in there, you little dog. You're having a quick bath. This is your chair? You made a chair? <laughs> yeah. I love it. It is scorching hot out suddenly. He's sleeping with neck around and now uh, the duck wants. So. Gabby, are you gonna cut more of those? Gracie. Storm is eating. We're taking turns now. My back is hurting from braiding. <laughs> we got that far. Gabby's taking a turn. Storm, you look funny. You look funny, Storm. <laughs> Don't worry, we love you. We love you. Oh, Willow, you're still out here. So I saw Sophie out here. She went to put the, the duck and the goose away. And I felt so sad because we always do it together. Come on, let's go. Let's go. The hardest thing with showing is that even though you have so much to do at night, like cleaning all the tack and packing everything up, you still have like all your other stuff. You have to make your lunch if you're taking a lunch. You have to get your clothes ready. You have to have a shower. Like, and all of us having showers just takes so long to dry your hair have to try and get into bed early. Plus, we edit at night. Hi, baby girl. You're the cutest baby. I just love that dog. You guys have no idea how much I love her. Even though she attacks roosters. I know, you want some grass? He's like, I just need to have a snack before we go in. <laughs> For anybody who's curious, we did, Allie, go. 
we did actually manage to um, keep the boy, keep the buck in <laughs> for the rest of the day. Everybody needs to, hey, Ellie, get out of their food. Did you give them food? Goose and duck have fr fresh food. They have food. All right, let's go. We're done. Everybody is tucked in. Come on. Oh, I always trip on this step. Do you guys see? There's like this other step up into that part of the barn, and it is annoying. Lights off. So I have to give props to Sophie for this show prep. She's done almost all of it herself. Yeah. Annoying when I was trying to focus. <laughs> just... We're annoying when she's trying to focus. <laughs> no, I'm going this way because I want to just see what else they need, if they need any help with anything else. Yeah, what I need is for you to find the full body slinky. Full body slinky and I need to find a red ribbon. Horses aren't even in yet, actually. Love shows in the fall. Oh my God, all the dogs came running to me and hopped this fence. It was so cute. What happened? The awesome jumps the biggest over this. Really? Because they get excited to go to bed at night. You can jump pretty high, huh? I love you. We're going to a show tomorrow. I'd explain to Storm that he's not staying. How are you doing? Literally like that two grade. Wow. Two you are way faster than me. I still have a project that I want to finish for this thing. It's been a lot, you guys. It's been a lot. Sam, do you have chairs packed? We are ready. It looks so kind of cool at night it looks insane no it looks cool all opened up like that i love it it like gives me butterflies because we're going someplace with the horses and the dogs you're staying home storm's hopefully good because i don't have to worry about him spooking there because he's been there before he used yeah. to live there yeah so we all the I, little kids getting him used to the field oh look do you guys see the light go on sam put uh, quick run before uh, they get out my back is really sore from braiding well, run. I'm not catching Do you know why they're in there? They're Oh, well, because it's dark. But they've been spending a lot of time in, in here today. What are you doing? Because, is there a chicken up on the top there? Yes. What the heck? Let me just... That's... Okay. Ooh. That's the one. Wow, look at that. Lost. So I put a ton of straw in there today. That's the one that got lost. You got lost? Yeah, I got lost outside. Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> Molly, go! I'm gonna name you Screamer! Ellie, stop! Hey, the rooster's gonna kill me! Oh. Take them! Just throw it in. I wonder if it got like. Ellie! Ellie! Come on! Come out! She's Ellie, like come me. on! But look at, look at how soft and squishy that is now. Go, Ruby! I'm gonna give them. Jesus! <laughs> Was not expecting that? How's that before the rooster killed me? <laughs> but look, there's some brown fur there. I wonder if something oh. happened to her. Okay. Once they trample all that down a little bit more, I'll put another bale in there and it'll be like a cozy little den in the winter. They that. love it. I I didn't smush it all around like that. They we have the silkies over there. We gotta I still haven't done anything to them because we're gonna build them a pen like this with a little roost. Make sure we can walk through here. Yeah. We can walk through here. The door will be over there. And then maybe we'll move this. Sophie found some puppies. Okay, my bestie did. Elizabeth, Elizabeth found some puppies and sent them to Sophie. So now Sophie wants to get a puppy. And I'm like, no way. Okay, it's a golden retriever. They are really cute, but imagine doing chores with another puppy. Like, it's hard for us to do chores with our dogs already. I'm gonna go up to that and say, hey, you want to Puppy. And the reason that we do... Did you count them? Should we go back in and count them? Let's go count them. Don't you know that you're beautiful Just the way